Just wanted to let you guys know that we came out with a new Hondru t-shirt design. We are doing a pre-sale on these. So after the video, feel free to check out the website and pick one up for yourself. So we got Hondru back onto the dyno after the refresh and ready to turn this thing up, see what she does. And we're trying to make it to a testing tune, hopefully, which is on Wednesday. So if all goes good on the dyno, we got some stuff to put in the rear, some upgrades, and we'll be ready to take her to the track. Yeah, um, last time we had it on the dyno, Oh, they had some issue with like a, it had like a cut or something on it. So a few things they have to figure out, but I mean, everything else is refreshed. So hopefully everything goes good. Yep. Just got her strapped down. So we're getting ready to make some pulls. See how she does. What did it hit? 565. We're just chasing stuff. This is the process. Yeah, it is the process. Two tuners is better than one. Two nerds. Two, two nerds is better than one. <laughs> two nerds, one car. So we're going we're gonna to shut our shift cut off. And we're going to hit this again. See if that's our... Well, it's our not pushing thing. water anymore. Oh, it feels great. You got those big old studs in it now. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, so we got that off. Cool. All right. We still got good temp, so we might as well try again. Cool. boost was that? It's a 700 horse worth. Yeah, it's what? It's the 700 horse worth of boost. <laughs> That's why I was asking about the timing. Because if it's off one tooth somewhere, that would make sense for that. Yeah. <laughs> so weird though, if it was loaded that hard, that it didn't make any more boost than what it did. Yeah, because it was, what, the backs weren't working? That's why it was falling off, huh? Yeah. 
Because it didn't fall off that time. 848? Oh. Yeah, man. See? That was awesome. That's a lot. That's, that's good, good for that's good for deep nines. That's Kay. good for uh, that's deep deep nine territory. A little less stress. I was like, what is going on here? Yeah, you're scaring me. Well, I'm like, I'm like throwing all this stuff at it and nothing's happening. It's only making 560 or something this whole time. It's because the dyno wasn't calibrated again. It did that to my STI. It, was, uh, it only does it to me. You guys are trying it to break my heart. only do it to him. <laughs> hey. I'm like, check the dyno, bro. I'm it's not... your karma, bro. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to start doing it on purpose now. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you already were. <laughs> There it is. I'm just going to make sure every time I reset it. <laughs> torque. 683. Oh, 702 torque. <laughs> 702 torque. <laughs> That's a hundred more foot pounds of torque, isn't it? It was only made like six last time. We made 650, I think. Was it 650? Yeah, we made in the sixes torque last time. Oh, yeah, whoa. Dang. Hunter's eating. He's eating, bro. Don't lean it out. Don't lean it out. You'll lose that torque. I definitely felt the stand. You might want the other engine mount going out. Thirty four pounds. Thirty four? Thirty four pounds. Damn. That's good. That's really good. Way more than Florida. Florida we're making some. Well, I'll admit that our elevation is. Eight forty-eight. That's a good number, man. That's a really good number. Let's see what well, it I does threw tomorrow. Some, I threw a bunch of timing at it. I was like, <laughs> you know, the, it needs something. Yeah, there's something going on. I want to know. So, I got an extra four yeah, degrees in it from where we were. You got some power in the fuel too. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. luck, <laughs> It's gonna be a wild be a ride. ride, man. See now I'm hyped up. I like to see the trap speeds. It was what, 145 be. before? 145. Let's see some 150s. 150, 155. That's what I'd like to see. I mean, with a 1460 foot, yeah. you, could go at, you could go at an 8 if you're in the 150s. Well, I just got to change a couple things in the rear and uh, she's going to be ready. Yeah. I'm doing that now. That's what you I was, have to. Yeah. What do you got to do in the rear? Put Axles. Axles. It's a lot of foot pounds of torque too. 848. That's crazy. Honda's moving up. 34 pounds. We know it will clean the, the dust off the Yeah, we've seat. done it before. Yeah, we've done it before. <laughs> that was 6,400 OPMs. That's perfect. But that doesn't break an axle. <laughs> <laughs> some upgrades hopefully no more broken axles in the rear i mean they did only rate those to 800 though and you just did 848 yeah i guess we're, we're a little over the rating we're test them out so these are going to be way better than stock they're still like if we end up breaking these i guess it's a good thing because we're making more power but we can still get the pro level ones but i think these are going to hold they should they're definitely they going to do better up. than the yeah. stock ones <laughs> like, yep these can hold some power you know so these gotta hold some power. Yeah, so this right here is the drive shaft shop rear axle for the STI. This is just their drop in. It's not their pro level, so everything just goes it's together just, and we yeah, don't have to change out the hub or anything. The pro level, you have to get the bigger hub to compensate. And so, this one, they rate it 800 horsepower. It's all heat treated. And we've already broken several axles on Honda. So yeah, one on each side. Now that Two it's making more side, power, we need the axle upgrade. Yeah, to get better 60 foots to actually start launching it, this is what we need. So, yeah, we'll see how these things hold up. I guess we'll let you guys know how, well, you guys will find out. Yeah. 
We'll be going to the track soon, see how they, they yep. perform. And these actually I got from, when I was getting the transmission back from Zach, um, he had these for his car and I didn't have to order them. So I ended up just getting it off of him because he already had them and I didn't have to wait for them to be made. So thank you, Zach. Hit it with a little rubber mallet to get it all the way in. And two bolts and done. Go in. No, keep hitting it. Yep. Good. Give it a couple more taps. I don't know if it went all the way. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Good. There we go. New axles installed in Honduru. Yeah. She's ready to eat now. Yep. Just that two more bolts for the diff and she's back together. Yeah. Well, she's all ready for the track. Yep. Got the axles in, raised up the rear just a little bit because it was a little too low. Uh, took it for a little test test run. Feels good. We're just gonna leave it like that till tomorrow. Let's see what the numbers at the track say. Yep. That's uh, the most important thing. So yep, going the for the... Go for that Colorado Subaru record. I'm going for that record tomorrow. So the record is like a 9.7 something. Funky Bill got it. I actually know Ryan. He's pretty cool. So I'm going to go for like better than a 9.7 is what I'm looking for. So if she does that, then we'll have the fastest Subaru, yeah, fastest Subaru in Colorado. Colorado Regardless of what motor's in it, it's yeah, the fastest one. They might argue like, eh, it doesn't have a Subaru motor, but it's the fastest. For us, it would be the fastest Subaru in Colorado. Yep. So that's what we're going for. And uh, yeah, man. I think we got it. Let's see how she does. Yeah.